Hey there, welcome back. I'm Andrew and uh, this is Andrew's channel International. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Let's Play Pathfinder, Wrath of the Writers. This gameplay uh, has a really, is really very, very fun for me. I'm having a lot of fun playing with you guys. And today I will try, I hope, I will really try, I will do my best to win against the shadow in the market of Canabras, which I tried to do since a while. <laughs> I am uh, fully aware that this is not that simple, but it seems that I, I will figure it out. I will figure it out. So Camellia for the first, first of all is going to use her ghost touch spirit enchantment. And Let's get started. You've crossed the wrong line. Wow. That was really a big attack. Let's use Let's keep Crimson in the back line here with Arik. I want to attack when I will know more. Let's take the fight in defensively and let's move Scylla in the very center of the fight. Wolif will also attack, but he will stay a little bit behind. When the shadow will come, he will start, start attacking. Ember does the same. She will use the fire attack. Camellia, well, so far so good. She tries to strike the, the zombie, she doesn't perform any sort of damage. Pity. Key attack. Next turn, I guess. Next turn, alright. I want that all the zombies and the shadows um, try to hit Scylla. That's the goal. It's the only thing that I want to try. Alright. They need all to surround her. And now Wolif actually actually Wolif can already try to eat. Where is the lesser shadow? I can't I can't see what is the lesser shadow, what is the big shadow because they are over the roof. This is the lesser. And we kill the lesser shadow before um, she can even land. Perfect. Oh, it seems that, wow, it seems that the shadow is targeting now Volif, which is not the best, but fine. Amber will do a step back and use the Divine Zap against this. Okay, it seems that is Volif the target. What if he's the target, so now we have to try to kill this the one first. Your blood. Okay, immune. I think because I didn't enchant the weapon, that's my mistake. Lan could, for example, try to help. I think I did another mistake, because every time I click a true strike, then I cannot uh, strike right away. So, Arik could get here now an attack of, uh, of opportunity. Let's try to hit this shadow. Yes, three damage. That's, that's very good. Now we are going to use Scylla and we are channeling the negative energy against the zombies. Unfortunately, they are not all dying, but they are damaged. And Scylla gave also 5 damage to uh, some shadows. Now, what I have to do here, I need to use also this scroll of magic, but I try to use the acrobatic skills to get back, and it works. Deactivate it, and well done, Wolf. Well done. Now the shadow is focusing on uh, Arik. 
Okay, I think that I could try this with Amber. I don't care if I eat also Sila. Because I killed a lot of zombies. And now Camellia, magic weapon, and this one here. Doesn't work. It doesn't work. Lan can't do anything, he can just strike with the with the arrow. And now Arik. You need to be strong, my little thing. Keep fighting, okay. Arik killed one shadow. Wow. This is impressive. And Sila should really take care of the last zombie. Wolf can use again a magic missile. Five damage, which is which is big. Um, divine sap. Three, it's also very good. And now missing. Yes, sir. He missed. He missed. Go for their heart. Four damage. Oh come on. Come on, come on, Arik. Show us that now you're the best of the team. Yes, Arik killed two shadows. Arik, guys, is just the best. Okay, <laughs> we did it. Let me press F5 because I think I tried this fight. I, I can't even remember how many times. How much time I tried. I think that the strength has been taken from uh, uh, Crimson, honestly. Let me check if I have the chance to restore also clean some strength. Yeah, plus four. It's not everything, but at least. Okay, let's continue. We must, we must have something else here, right? Or did I already... No, 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 no. There is something new. Pity that I didn't have the chance to sleep and recover. We are fighting, but we are very, very weak. Okay. What do we have here? A cultist necromancer. And some other cultist and some uh, zombies, right? Yeah, that, that looks like that. It looks like that. Let's use some hypnosis if we manage. Did we use it? Doesn't look like. Whatever. It seems that they attack first and they are also very fast. Pah. They, they, they seem strong. <laughs> Shit. You won't survive me. They seem strong, really. All right. Um, I tried to block the necromancer with Camellia, but his will save is uh, crazy good, so we don't manage. Maybe Ember can try to use the slumber, which works, which works. And now Crimson, actually not Crimson, but um, Arik can go and try to give a uh, coup de grass very quickly. Which uh, provides a critical, but doesn't kill. That's a pity, but it is as it is. Sila. Let's charge. Good. And now the cultists will also... Oh, shit. Oh, God. Vampiric touch. Seems that Crimson is doing very bad. Now, what if could try now again to throw the hypnosis? Which worked on on the boss. Wow. I think I will have to reload this because I wasn't ready for this uh, this fight, <laughs> as always. Okay, Lan, let me see what we can do. Zombie die. One. Okay, only one. 
Camellia. We'll now cast Sleep. Because if we are lucky, maybe one of those uh, will fall asleep. No one, literally no one. This is really frustrating. But the slumber works. Ember works, okay. We can do it. Now this necromancer is really strong. Okay, good. Crazy. Crazy. Okay, Wolf can now try some sneak attack. Nah. Yes. One worked. Okay. Alright. Sila is doing fantastic with the with her armor class. Make every strike count. All right. Camellia, Camellia, Camellia. What should we do, Camellia? Protective lock on Sela. I think it, that's that's the best that we can do. Now you do a slumber, uh, slumber also on the other cultist. One by one, they, they fall asleep. My little friend here could try to run away before it's too late. Or just keep uh, charging the Necromancer. We're doing very bad now. Sila could get here an attack of opportunity by a zombie. But she could also give a coup de grace of one of those cultists. So... That she got an attack of opportunity by everybody because she is just uh, uh, under um, under the influence of these pikes or uh, how are they called so those hellbirds I ah fuck I didn't consider that so I lost the Scylla I, I can't do that I think that, that I think that attacking here without being fully prepared in particular as you can see, You're a good I even didn't uh, heal properly my party. Not sure if it's going to work. Um, let me see if I have uh, a fireball. Actually, you could copy this to the spellbook instead of throwing it like once. But not yet. Mm. Don't mind me. <sighs> I mean, on one hand, on one hand, I would really like to attack this group. On the other, I would also like to play safe. We should move. And I don't know what's the best, what the best approach is. By the way, uh, let's take mobility. So for today, we have mobility uh, boosted to, where is it? 13. Saving again. Together we stand. Use until you're fully healed. Protection. Uh, bark skin, maybe. And also Beer's Endurance. Uh, can I give a large person <laughs> a large a large person to my to my wolf? Um, I, I don't, it doesn't look like, okay, but fine. I, I don't know, uh, no, it didn't work. It just didn't work, that's it. 
Okay. Why land is so far away? Why? Why is land so far? This is ridiculous. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Come on. Let's try to slumber the necromancer immediately. Which doesn't work this time. Pity. Now the cultists are starting uh, giving us issues. I say to block this. But whole person works. Whole person works, so the cultist now is blocked. Wolif needs to um, immediately get rid of the zombies and then the other enemies. And the crimson. I really think we should get rid of the monster first and then and then uh, focus on the on the necromancer. Okay, Lan. One zombie is down. Sila. Actually, Sila could use a scroll of prayer. That one round per level is going to give us a, a big uh, a big help. And I'm going to use it while Ember is using Slumber on the first quality now, which works. Camellia, let's give the protective luck to Scylla and then get close. Wolif, 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 uh, he should really get rid of this. Nope, nope, shit really, <laughs> can't believe it. Crimson, let's try to kill this zombie now. Not really. Lan can try to strike the necromancer from... The distance, 12 damage, very good. Sela against the zombie, well done. And now Ember, Slumber, uh, these are the cultists here. We say, man, pity. Okay. Uh, now Camellia try to kiss the, tries to kill this zombie and she performs well. She does well. Very good. Now we have only one zombie left uh, and uh, the cultist and then the necromancer. Okay. Distract them for me. Okay, what if it does not is not able to perform anyways uh, sneak attacks? That's a pity. Strike with all your might. Make every strike count. All right. The light All right. Ah, we can save eleven against eleven. What a shame. Well done. He has an armor class of two, so we uh, we will constantly hit the necromancer until he's blocked. So I need to use this moment. Probably I should have used it better, but too late. Time to share your treasures. Okay. <laughs> we can do it. All right. All right. The necromancer is still blocked, so Lan again. Wonderful, we killed him. We killed him. We're not the 59, 159 experience points. That's really big. That's really big. Oh, 
They hit me finally. You are today's All right. Can I try to do a coup de grace here? No, I would trigger too many uh, attack of opportunity. It's much better if I use a sneak attack. All right. All right. You won't survive me. Guys, this time it has been... It worked much, 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 much better. And now we close it. Right? The kind of. Okay, he's waking up. Attack of opportunity. I spoke too early. Go for their hearts. But I mean... 25 critical. All right. We did it, and we did it very, very well. Let me check now the experience 9719. I am super curious to see what is the loot that the sorcerer, the necromancer left. A glaive and a lot of very cool scrolls. Let me check it. Uh, so, Dark Horn, a glaive popular among Baphomet's warrior. Touching the handle is enough to sense the latent evil within this weapon. Okay, so it's um, it's an evil weapon, but I'm not going to use it. Okay, I do believe now that I managed to explore all the market area, I believe. And I'm about to leave it now. Area exit. Let's see what I can pick still. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff, but nothing is actually... Nothing is actually uh, magic or anything, right? Uh, beside of this half plate, which is completely magic, and I forgot it. Oh man, leave. What is this? Half plate plus one. Seriously. I mean, <laughs> that's a little treasure. Um, when I entered the market, I wasn't sure if that was the right choice. Now I am. Now I am. Okay, now we can slowly go to uh, per, to do all the other missions. I would I would quickly go to the Defender's Heart. I hope I hope that okay. Uh, I hope that I will not, uh, uh, I would say, uh, already have to defend it, but I don't think so. What do we find? Nenio. She's a character, uh, actually a Wearing very powerful a one. Check. Baphomet symbol around the neck? Check. <laughs> crazy. An audience. Problematic, but not critical. She's kind of crazy, but she's really, really fun. Okay, now it starts I don't know her. a little a little funny Greetings, moment where Nenio is I greeting the, the cultist of Baphomet like because she wants to but study she... them. Who? Oh, them. Just an audience. They don't matter. Consider them as in the name I stay in of silence. Lord Baphomet. Let's start with something simple. And she's now interrogate. She's so now doing a friend. test. We will not answer to you. Our Lord can wield any kind of weapon. He is wrong. He wields no weapons at all. He doesn't need any. He just gores his enemies with his horns. That is correct. But still, boy, no prompting, please. <laughs> this experiment has taken quite a surprising turn. I would never have expected the followers of the great Baphomet to be back. A bull! Of course, every... Yep. And a cow. I'd like to ask you to stop prompting them, but it seems they could do with a prompt or two. It appears the experiment has yielded results which are as unexpected. Damn it! She's right. I'm a shitty excuse for a cultist. 
And my mother used to tell me to become a plowman. Hey, take it easy. We've only had two questions. You there, come on, ask another one. We'll, we'll get the next one. Is there any sense in continuing? Please, ask again. I... <sighs> How do you spell Baphomet's name? B... A... F... A... Oh, screw it. To hell with Baphomet. <laughs> hey, she basically is, com oh, is defeating the Baphomet cultists using grammar and tests. She's such a nerd and I like it. I will ha I will bring her in the party um, and I will ask uh, I may, um, Camellia to step aside. But now we're ready for a battle, okay. That would have been too, too, too beautiful otherwise. Okay. Let me take this so we can already strike a sneak attack. Now we miss actually. Arik can attack the archer, the barbarian, the cultist. Sila can charge the archer. So then everything is an attack of opportunity. Camellia, the cultist. Well done. And Lan. Endure this. Okay. Not bad. Ember. Let me see if the fighter can sleep. He can. And now the barbarian will attack. Sila. Let's try to Time kill it. Let's try to kill the barbarian. It's probably the most dangerous. We can do it. <laughs> I love it. I love when Crimson is just throwing them. The light take you. So, let me see the protective lock. Where how is it working? Armor, shield, focus, natural armor, dodge, fighting defensively. No, I can't see the protective lock, but anyways. Make every strike count. Okay, the barbarian is gone. And Amber now can uh, put down the other archer. And it works pretty well. So Wolif can now me, focus right? on the sharpshooter. Wonderful. Forward. Crimson and Arik as well. And Sida can just do coop the grass and coop the grass very easily. Oh, come on. Critical only. Critical only. Such a disappointment. The spirits demand your blood. Wonderful. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Surrender or else. Stab you or zap you. Why not both? We won't falter. That's how you very good. Very, very good. Into the fray. Oh, come on. Stand up, man. Well done. Okay. It seems that we managed to uh, save uh, Nenio. And now we, we hired one of the best sorcerer that we can hire. The result is statistically predictable. What about you, boy? <laughs> Are you ready to answer some questions for the good of science? Let's proceed with the experiment. Oh, what is the color of Ayomide? I have no idea. I would say gold for sure and white, probably. Silver and gold. Silver and gold are the colors of Abadar. Oops. Ayomide's red and white. Red and... <sighs> I suppose I should terminate the... It seems to me that I owe you an explanation. My All name right. is Menio. It is so heartening to see you strive for knowledge. Unfortunately, the experiment has proven that the opposing parties possess a proc... Do you wish to become my follower? To accompany me on my... Truth be told, I have no money to pay you. But you will be aiding the progress of science, and that is its own reward. Excellent. Your, your first assignment is to take me to a safe place. I have to... <laughs> okay. We accept her. Um, and we give her a level already. But I cannot do it right now. I have to do it when I'm at home.
Okay, Defender's Art. It will take one hour. Let's do it. Yep. Let's enter. Also because we are going to sell some stuff, buy some stuff, and uh, level up Nenio. Actually, level up Nenio is the first thing I'm going to do. So, wizard, scroll savant. We have to give her as much intelligence as possible. Also, dexterity wouldn't be bad, but dexterity is easier. It's better. Knowledge arcana, uh, knowledge of the world, lore of the nature, and, well, lore of religion. Let's give her all the lore. No, let, let, let me give her a no point of perception. That's not going to help. So, level 2 uh, magic. Um, she's gonna perform damage. I would like her. Why can't she use illusion? Because probably she's not able, okay? The hide is laugh loader. Um, mm hmm. That could be good. Bull strength is also very important. Since Camellia has bull strength. Ah, she already knows mirror image and create pit. Okay. Okay. Ma maybe. Maybe I would really give her a bull strength. And a molten orb. Yeah. Which means that if I go to her spell book now, uh, I have to give her. First of all, here, magic missile as much as possible. The color spray, no way. Vanish, yes. Armor and magic missile only. Uh, mirror image, of course. Pull strength and molten orb. Can't they settle here? No, it seems that I'm not allowed here, right? Okay. My little doggo has to follow me then. Okay, let's go to the let's go to Joran. Okay, bulk selling. I also want to sell uh, all the masterworks, but non magical, of course. Uh, deal. I'm not 100% sure if I want to sell those weapons, but I might do it. So, if I wanted to have a short sword. I see that I cannot have it. Uh, let's take it for price descending order. A magic short sword. Now oh, we have a cold iron masterwork. Short sword that's probably better than the one I'm, that I'm wearing, uh, carrying. Yeah. What about a, a, a long bow? I don't have any long bow here, right? Nope. Pity. And if we look at the living ram, it's costing too much. Okay. Well, this armor of vigilance with the max dexterity of six, and uh, this is also great. Let me check one thing. Uh, let's go out of here and let me take Scylla. I want to check. Okay, this is the same half plate plus one half plate plus one. Not gonna use her, so it doesn't matter.
okay i just decide to sell the armors some scrolls and the dark horn and i'm going to buy the quiver of cold iron ammunition which i'm going to assign right away to uh, lan so and now we go inside and then i i will just now we we'll just now rest and continue then the mission. Uh, in the next episode, we will probably be we will probably see some missions uh, around the map. Let's see what happens. I thank you very much for watching. I hope you had fun. Uh, for me, it was fantastic. So I had a lot of fun in this episode, as always. Now uh, I always say that, but that's always true. So I hope you enjoyed. In that case, please uh, consider to leave a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, I wish you a great day or a great evening and we see each other next time.